One way to avoid problems when uploading your announcements to Blackboard is to use HTML or Hypertext Markup Language. HTML was invented in 1989 by Sir Tim Berners-Lee as a way of standardizing how web browsers display documents. But because HTML also allows the embedding of images and videos and other types of multimedia, it became the basis for that thing that we know as the World Wide Web, which also includes learning management systems, which also use HTML to embed its various components. The first step is to download an easy HTML composer. I recommend the open source and free program Composer from SourceForge.net. Clicking on the Download button will first allow SourceForge to determine if you're using Windows or Mac, and then it will download the correct installation file to your computer. The Windows install file will end in .exe, and the Mac install file will end in .dmg. Click on the .exe or .dmg file to install Composer as you would any program on your computer. So click Run if you're on a Windows machine. And for Mac users, depending upon your security settings, you may have to type Control Click on the Composer icon and then select Open. Okay, the first time you open Composer, it will look like this. First, choose whether you want to see tips every time you open Composer. I don't. And then close that tips box. Next, enlarge the work canvas to your preference. Finally, close the left sidebar. In Windows, go to View, Show Hide, and toggle off the sidebar. You can also type F9 or use your cursor to grab the frame and drag it to the left to close it. OK, you're now ready to compose your announcements. The toolbars and icons at the top should look familiar to you. First, leave this window set on body text. Next, choose your font. Composer's default font is Times New Roman. A sans serif font such as Arial, Helvetica, or Calibri is recommended. Text color, you'll start off with black, but as you can see, to change type colors, highlight the text to be changed, and then pick a color just as you would with a word processing program. The rest of the commands are the same as you see in Outlook. The little a makes text smaller. The big A makes text larger. B is for boldface. I for italics, and so on. Same for the alignment tools. I'll center this heading. Now key in your announcement. However, if you're copying and pasting, it's very important that you not copy and paste from a Word document or any other word process document. If you want to use a pass announcement, first copy it and then paste it into a plain text document to strip out background code and remove any previous formatting from it. Now that you've done that, you can copy that text from your text document into Composer. Formatting the text is easy. I want to highlight Outstanding, so I will boldface it, and then increase its size. Now these two items should be in a bullet list, so I select them, and then click on the bullet list icon in the upper toolbar. And the same for these two items. Select and click. Adding a hyperlink is easy. First copy whatever hyperlink you want into your clipboard. For instance, here I want to provide a hyperlink directly to this week's welcome video. To grab the link, I go to the video in my media gallery. I click on play and look for the share icon in the bottom right of the player. Now you'll see there are two share links. The top one is a hyperlink, and the bottom one is for embedding. Since we're simply creating a hyperlink now, we're going to copy that top link. Now back in Composer, I simply highlight the word I wish to embed the link in. 
Then I click on Link on the top toolbar. Or I can use the shortcut Control plus L or Command L on a Mac to open that Link dialog box. Paste the link in the field under Link Location. Put a check mark in Link is to be opened in a new window under Target. Then click OK. As you see, the text now shows as underlined and blue. For the announcements page, I also want to embed the same welcome video to increase the chances that students might actually watch it. To do this, I first mark where I wish the video to go with a line of X's. Then I return to the video in my media gallery and grab the embed code, which begins with the iframe. Now back in Composer, I click on the Source tab at the bottom of the page, and I look for the X's. Then I replace the X's with that embed code. Click on the Design tab to return. Hmm, that looks pretty large, so I'm going to change the dimensions. I mark with X's again. I click on Source and locate the embed code. A nice thumbnail size is 180 by 320, so I make those changes and I click on Design. Okay, that looks more in proportion to the rest of the page. Students can always increase the size of the player by clicking on Full Screen in the player. Embedding an image is also easy. First, download the image to your computer. Next, click on Content in Blackboard's top navbar. Then click on Upload, Upload Files. Use the chooser to select the file on your computer. And then click Submit. Now on the next page, locate your image alphabetically on the list. Then click on the hand under Permissions. In the next window, click on Permit Anyone. And then in the next window, make sure Read is selected, then click Submit. Then click OK. Now, by clicking on the image's hyperlink in the next window, your browser will open the image, and all you do is copy and paste the URL from the browser window. After you've done that, close the picture window. Now, back in Composer, place your cursor where you wish the picture to appear. Then click on Insert, Image. Paste in the URL under Image Location. Provide some alternate text. Next, click on Appearance. Set spacing to 10 pixels for left and right, top and bottom. Decide if you want a solid line for a border. Then, in Align Text to Image, select Wrap to the Left which means the text will wrap to the left of the image. The image will be on the right-hand side. Click OK. Now, you see large images like this one will need to be resized. Simply click on one of the image's sizing tools, hold down Shift, and drag to your desired dimensions. Now you're ready to test your announcement in Blackboard. Click on the Source tab. Then select all, copy all. Then go to your home page and create an announcement. Type in your announcement's title. Then click on the HTML tab. In the window that opens, paste in the code that you copied. Then click Update. Make any adjustments that you wish on your screen. For example, my title got reduced by Blackboard, so I'm going to increase it. The image is a little crowded by text, so I right-click and select Image. Then Appearance. I increase the spacing to 15 on all sides. Then click on Update. I submit again. All right, looks good. Now, to use this announcement over and over, I click on Edit, then on the HTML tab, 
I select all, then copy all, and then cancel out. I return to my composer document and I click on source. Now, I very carefully delete everything between the top body tag and the bottom body tag. And once that's deleted, I simply paste in the code that I copied from Blackboard. Click on Design. Looks good. Now I save it to my Week 11 folder. Now my code is set up just the way that I and Blackboard like it. If I double click on the file, it'll open in a web browser so you can check links. And to edit it for future use in Composer, right click on the file and open in Composer. Okay, good luck and call me if you need me.